Lilongwe is the largest city in Malawi. It began as a small fishing village on the banks of the river Lilongwe. A Boma fort was built in 1902. In 1965, it was decided to shift the capital to Lilongwe, relocating from Zomba. In 1975, Lilongwe was declared the capital. The aim was to concentrate government administration in one city and to stimulate development in the central and northern regions by establishing a major growth point in the center of the country. With the relocation of all government head offices from Blantyre completed in 2005, Lilongwe has encountered a high rate of urbanization. As a planned city, Lilongwe is divided into four sectors, Old Town, Capitol Hill, Ganengo and Lumbadzi. This design clusters residential, employment and service areas around each center in order to reduce travel distances and avoid congestion. The city is further divided into 58 areas. The numbers are assigned chronologically. Lilongwe's population stands at about 1.1 million and is growing at a rate of almost 4% per year. About 76% of our population lives in informal settlements. Poverty stands at roughly 25% with unemployment estimated at 16%. The Lilongwe City Council's strategic plan defines a broad direction forward, covering a five-year period from July 2020 to June 2025 to meet the service delivery expectations of our residents to improve efficiency of operations and to provide value for money in the provision of services to its valued residents. The strategic plan will cover eight areas, namely parks, recreation and environment, commerce, industry and trade, health, finance, education, planning, development and engineering. Our mission is to tirelessly serve all the citizens of Lilongwe City and our vision is a future Lilongwe that is clean, green and prosperous. In tackling our work, we will live by our core values which are hard work, integrity, customer service, producing visible results that citizens care about, and innovation. The strategic plan is divided into three components, finances, management, and service delivery. The council intends to address high debts, insufficient capital investment, corrupt practices, and maladministration, and met fiduciary responsibilities. The Longwe City Council is on a path of reform. We recognize that for many years, our performance has not been to the expectation of the public. And uh, therefore, we as the City Council, we decided that a new start was necessary to transform Lilongwe into a city that everyone can be proud to call the capital of Malawi. And uh, we have prepared this strategic plan with a view to ensure that we reform and with a view to ensure that um, Lilongwe in five years time becomes a city with the capital of Malawi. So our strategic plan has been formulated following a constructive process involving our key stakeholders so that we have a shared vision, mission and values. The vision of our plan is um, a clean, 
green and prosperous Lilongwe by 2025. The plan is divided into uh, three pillars. Um, the first pillar is um, we want to fix our finances because with um, uh, finances, that's when we can be able to deliver services. The second pillar is management reforms. It's the catch of work, the way we work, that also will define um, how Lirongwe progresses to be a prosperous city uh, in the coming years. And then finally, improved service delivery. We are here to deliver services. And um, through this plan, residents in the city are going to see changes in the way that we deliver services. The strategic plan has three main goals. We have a goal on finances, we have a goal on management, and we also have a goal on uh, service delivery. Um, the key for us to deliver as Rongo City Council relies on finances. Um, what we have realized is uh, we have not been able to mobilize adequate resources to make sure that uh, we fix issues to do with management, and of course, on top of the list is the service delivery. Are we able to meet the service delivery? So we have come with specific goals in terms of um, or under the uh, finance goal. And the main one is to make sure that we allocate adequate resources towards service delivery. Because in the past years, most of our resources, we are, yes, we have been able to collect resources, but most of them have been on administrative matters. What we would want going forward is a bigger portion of these resources to be allocated to services and delivery so that we work towards satisfying our residents in terms of having the minimum service in the city. On budget management, what we have done is, for the first time, I think we should be the first council which has introduced what we call the World Development Fund. Under that fund, we have reinvested a certain percentage of our budget towards micro-projects in the different wards. Lilongwe City offers economic opportunities but lacks necessary financial resources to meaningfully implement its significant development plans and provide the required basic infrastructure and urban services which is an important prerequisite for economic development to take place. Some of the investment opportunities that have potential to spur development activities and provide better services to the residents of the city. The city has few market facilities which are not properly maintained. Coupled with high urban migration and high unemployment rates, people are compelled to join market vending, hence leading to congestion, unsafe and unhygienic practices. Evidently, street vending has become rampant and a threat to security, women being assaulted and compromise in waste management. The city does not have an international bus terminal, the local bus terminal is dilapidated and an eyesore to the city. The current bus terminal possesses challenges to the safety and other related transport concerns. It does not have modern amenities befitting a city infrastructure. Similarly, the council's facilities at the Lilongo Community Center ground, a space where communities surrounding the area patronized for various sporting activities and events, are dilapidated, archaic and poorly managed. As for the youths, there are no adequate facilities earmarked for the areas of life skills, entrepreneurship, reproductive health education, counseling and sports development. There is a need for a city that is youth-friendly considering that they are the leaders of the next generation. It is against this background that the Lilongwe City Council, through the Public and Private Partnership Commission, recently invited interested and qualifying private sector investors to express their interest in the construction of a Wenela modern multi-story market, community centre and youth resource centre. The Council is optimistic that through this arrangement with eligible private sector partners, the Council is assured of building, expanding, improving and developing infrastructure. Rongo City Council for some time has been known for poor performance and uh, indeed also is emanating from the management style. So the culture which we have had for some time
has been very conservative. As, as a result, as a council, we have, not, we have been producing the same results using the same style of management style. So uh, what we want to do now, we have come up with a number of strategies. One of it is to um, uh, restructure. We want to restructure a number of uh, departments and they align jobs according to workload. So that by the end of the day, we have people that are delivering based on the priorities of service delivery. For us to uh, uh, tirelessly serve the general public, we intend to adopt modern uh, management styles. One of them is to improve on good governance. So under this one, we have come up with the values, uh, hardworking, integrity, and want to instill these values upon our members of staff. Secondly, we also want to uh, adopt uh, technology. Uh, you see that uh, we largely rely on, on paperwork. So we want to improve on this one by uh, uh, adopting the, the, the system where uh, much of our records should be electronically kept and also uh, accessed. In terms of service delivery, we are aware that our services are very poor and we want to unleash private PPPs in the way we deliver services. So we bring in a number of private partners that we will be engaged in service delivery like waste correction and the markets, car parking, all these will be in the hands of the private sector, including slashing and also cleansing. That's another way of trying to bring efficiency in the way we uh, conduct uh, business. In addition to that, in terms of um, uh, uh, environment, uh, we have come up with the Lilongwe uh, Ecological Cor Corridor Initiative under this one, we also want to use the private sector to assist us in coming up with the most beautiful uh, park with all the facilities where I think the residents should be able to come and enjoy and uh, have fun uh, while also enjoying nature in Lilongo City. Lilongo City Council has structural problems that affect service delivery. The goal is to adopt modern management practices by unleashing private sector initiative, partnering and embedding a culture of good governance, efficient service delivery and accountability for results. Service delivery. Lilongo City Council is known for poor and inadequate service delivery. Our goal is to provide services in a more efficient and cost-effective manner, focusing on private sector, development, environmental protection, solid waste management, transport, public health, and town planning, basic education, and capital investment. The overall goal for the Lilongo City Council strategic plan is to improve efficiency of operations and provide value for money in the provision of services. Lilongo City, clean, green, and prosperous.